In this lesson, we are going to talk about using formulas to solve word problems. Just to refresh your memory, we define the formula to be mathematical equation or expression that relates two or more variables together. You have already seen these formulas before. For instance, the formula for for a line, if you remember, was given as y equal mx plus b, where m was the slope and b was the y-intercept. This formula relates the variable y and the variable x. This was a simple formula that you learned in grade 9. Now we are going to cover a few other formulas that you may encounter later on. Let's start with a few examples. The first example, we have a formula given by C is equal to AG over G plus 2, where C is the amount of dosage of medicine that you will give to a child based on the following variables. First, A is the amount of medicine that you give to an adult of the same medicine. G is the weight of the child and 2 is a constant. So, let's say we want to give Tylenol to a kid. If I know how much Tylenol I have to give to an adult, and also I know the age of the kid, then I can find the amount of Tylenol that I have to give to, to the kid. In this example, we have an adult dosage of 600 milligram and we want to give the same medicine to a three year, three year old child so to find the amount of medicine I'm going to use C is equal to A is the amount of medicine that I'm going to give to the adult which is 600 times the age of the kid which is three years old divided by the age 3 plus 12 which is going to give me 1800 divided by 15 if you simplify this one you get 120 milligram this is the amount of medicine that I have to give a 3 year old child in the next example we have a landscaper that wants to fertilize a land which is in the form of a triangle let's say a triangle like this one we know the side length are 150 200 and 300 meters we know that one bag of fer fertilizer costs 1998 and it covers only 900 square meter if we use the Heron's formula to find the area of the triangle using this formula the question is how much fertilizing this lawn is going to cost first of all since we know one bag covers 900 square meter I have to find the area bounded by this triangular lawn. To find the area, I'm going to use the Heron's formula. So I'm going to say A is equal to. Now, S in this formula is addition of the three sides divided by 2. This is how S is defined. So on the side, I'm going to do S is equal to 150 plus 200 plus 300 divided by 2. Here I can use the calculator and 
I can simplify this one and I get S is equal to 325. 300 plus 200 is 500 plus 150 is 750 divided by 2 is 325. Now using S I can substitute back in this equation since I know what is ABC. ABC are the side lengths of the triangle. So I get 325 times 325 because it's S minus 150 times 325 minus 200 times 325 minus 300 now if I multiply all these together I get square root of 325 times 325 minus 150 is 175 times 325 minus 200 is 125 times 325 minus 300 is 25 if I find the product and then take the square root I get 13,331.71 this is going to be my area in square meter now I know that one bag is going to cover 900 square meter so I'm going to divide this area by 900 to get how many bags I need so I say 1331.71 divided by 900 it's going to give me approximately 14.8 bags since I can't buy 0.8 bags I'm going to round it up to 15 and each bag cost me 19.98 so the total cost so total cost is equal to 19.98 times 15 which is going to be two hundred ninety nine dollars and seventy cents that's going to be the total cost to fertilize the lawn the next example we have another landscaper which wants to fill a box which is a rectangular prism like this one with soil. Now, to pour soil inside the box he uses a bucket which looks like this one which is a cylinder. The height is 18 centimeter and the radius is 18 centimeter. The question is that how many times does he have to fill the box until the box is full? First of all, when you are solving problems, you have to make sure that you are dealing with the same units. Here you have centimeter and meter. So what I am going to do the first thing is to change this one meter to centimeter. And as you know, you just multiply by 100, so we get 100 centimeter. Now we are going to find the volume of the box. The volume of a box by the definition is length times width times height. So it's going to be 100 times 20 times 40, which is going to give me 80,000 cubic centimeter. Now I have to find the volume of the bucket. By definition, the volume of the bucket, V, is equal to pi r squared h which is pi times r is 18 so 18 squared times h h is 18 now if you use your calculator and find this one this is going to give you 18 
1,321.77 cubic centimeter. <coughs> now I have to see how many 18,321.77 fits into 80,000 cubic centimeters. So I'm going to divide 80,000 by 1,832.77 and this is going to approximately give me 4.4 so the answer is going to be about 4.4 buckets so it's not exactly 5 it's something like 4.5 4 buckets and a half to fill the box now to summarize the lesson when you are solving multi-steps problem there are a few things you have to remember first of all what formulas or relationships can you use for instance in previous example we use the volume of a box the volume of a cylinder and we could solve it or the formula is already given by the problem about the medicine which has to be administered to a kid the other thing is that when you read the word problem circle all the numerical information that is given in the problem and if you're supposed to draw something when you are drawing use the numerical value to indicate the value of the measurement now the main part is that when you read the word problem make sure you know what you have to find or estimate in your problem Another important fact is that the, all the units that you use, they have to be the same. This is very important. In the previous problem, you had centimeter and meter. You had to convert meter to centimeter or vice versa, centimeter to meter. And the last one is conversion of units. That one, you either have a table in front of you or you have to memorize the conversion between different units.